This is a quick video over Flashpoint. So let's say we have liquid benzene, we have liquid benzene at a negative 50 degrees Celsius. Negative 50 degrees Celsius. Now at negative 50 degrees Celsius, remember the temperature is related to the average kinetic energy that the molecules have. So every now and then, one of the molecules might get a little bit more energy than the rest of them and able to break itself free of the liquid and pop out here. So as we increase the temperature, we increase the number of molecules that are able to break themselves free. Now we're going to assume one thing. We're going to assume that not too many, not too many of the benzene molecules are freeing themselves this way. So I mean, we're going to assume this is open to the air and that not too many of them are evaporating. We're going to assume the evaporation rate is relatively, relatively low. Now, now if we assume that, we'll get some saturated pressure, P sat. Remember, saturated pressure is, is equal to the number of molecules that are leaving as in molecules that are going back into the liquid. So if we assume that, we have that, and we have a little ignition site, so we have two wires, and we are able to cause a little spark to happen. So some spark, spark, we spark it, and we see if there's a fire. And if there is no fire, then we know that that the concentration, or the percent of benzene in here, is too low. It's too low for a fire to occur. Remember, a fire needs three things. It needs a fuel, fuel, an oxidizer, and an ignition source. Now right now, the fuel isn't high enough. The fuel concentration is not high enough for a reaction to occur. So what we have to do, we have to increase, increase the temperature. So we'll increase the temperature to say negative 25 degrees Celsius. And if we increase the temperature, we increase the number of molecules that are out here. So now we have a little bit few more molecules out here. And we try to spark it again and see if there's a fire. And there's no fire, so what we have to do, we have to increase the temperature again. So let's increase the temperature again to maybe, to maybe let's say, let's say a negative 11 degrees Celsius. So now we let it equilibrate. So we wait for it just to get to the point where just as many molecules are leaving as are coming back in. And that's the, that re represents the saturated pressure and we spark it. And when we spark it, we notice that there's a flash. There's a flash of heat. There's a flash of a fire. And it doesn't last very long. And the reason it doesn't last very long is because there's not enough enough molecules of benzene leaving the liquid to replenish the fuel. So a fire can only occur where you have 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 uh, O2 and benzene reacting. Benzene reacting. So if this down here is just all liquid benzene, there's no O2, so there can't be a fire down here. So for the reaction to occur, you have to wait for the benzene molecules to break themselves free to uh, actually have a fire. So there's only this quick flash. So what we call that, what we call that, the temperature at which, the temperature at which the lowest observable fire occurs, we call this the flash point. Flash point. Point. And that is at a negative 11 degrees Celsius. Now we're also going to introduce a new term, and we're going to say this is the lower flammability, flammability limit. So what I mean by that is, we now know, well we can find out what's the limited or the percent of benzene that we need in the air for a fire to occur. And we can calculate that. We know the temperature, and if we remember that PSAT, PSAT, so the log mean PSAT, is equal to A plus, or not A, not plus, I mean, A minus B over C plus D, or T. Now if we know that, we can then find the percent of benzene you need in vapor for a uh, fire to occur. So. Let's find out what that is. So let's find the saturated pressure. Now, for benzene, A is equal to 15.9, 15.9. B is equal to 2788.5. And C is equal to a negative, C is equal to a negative 52.336. So let's do that. So we're going to change this equation around just a little bit. So we're going to have we're going to have PSAT 
PSAT is equal to e to the power of power of a minus b all over c plus t and that is equal to as equal to e or just simply e is 2.718 I think to the power of power of 15.9 minus 2788.5 all over all over negative 52.36 plus the temperature in Kelvin the temperature in Kelvin and for our case the temperature in Kelvin is 262 degrees Kelvin right yes so 262 degrees Kelvin so let's put that in a calculator real quick so let's do that so we have 2.718 to the power of to the power of 15.9 minus whoops minus 2788.5 all divided by a negative 52.36 plus 262 and we get is that right we get 13.4 so the saturated pressure at 11 degrees Celsius so P sat at 11 degrees Celsius is is 13.4 13.4 point four now we can find the percent of benzene in here if we just divide the PSAT so that tells us the PSAT tells us the pressure due to just the benzene so the pressure due to the benzene if we know that this is open to the atmosphere then the total pressure so the total pressure is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury oh yeah that's millimeters of whoops millimeters I'll just redo that millimeters of mercury so if we divide the PSAT by the total pressure P total then we get 13.4 all divided by 700 760 millimeters of mercury millimeters of mercury and that is equal to so we'll go to our calculator divide by 760 so we're going to multiply that by 100 just to get the percent. We get 1.7%. And the actual lower flammability limit for benzene is 1.4%. 1.4%. So we got relatively close. 1.7 versus 1.4. 1.4 is the actual experimental value. So, I mean, it's not an exact science. But, I mean, well, I mean, I would say that's pretty, that's pretty close. I mean, that's not, that's not off by much at all. So again, if you are to have a flashpoint, that is just a quick fire, just a fire that just instantaneously happens and then just instantaneously leaves. So I mean, it really just it's just a flash of fire and then it's just done. You need you need 1.4 percent, 1.4 percent of the vapor in the air to be benzene. Now you can have more than 1.4 percent of benzene in the atmosphere. The only problem is there comes a point where you start actually displacing the oxygen, so there's actually an upper flammability limit. Upper flammability limit. So this was 1.4%. And the upper flammability limit for benzene is 7.1%. So when you have the air contain more than 7% uh, benzene, it starts to s displace oxygen, so there's no oxygen so if we look at our fire triangle you need the fuel oxygen and ignition source and if you don't have any oxygen because you're displacing it with the fuel well then you can't have a fire so that's the upper flammability limit and the lower flammability limit now there is an actual temperature which I'm not sure what it is for benzene where where this is hot enough where the benzene is hot enough where the the benzene actually is that has enough the benzene molecules actually have enough energy to start replenishing the fuel so then you can have an actual continuous fire a continuous fire so the benzene molecules are actually leaving the liquid because they're hot because it's hot enough 
and they are able to replenish the fuel and continue reacting with the oxygen to have a fire.